Hi everyone, my name is Xavier and in this series we're going to take a look at TypeScript. So what exactly is TypeScript? Well, TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript that allows static typing. That means that you can define the type of your variables. So you can say that variable x is of type string, for example. TypeScript also has support for interfaces, enums and other things that you don't find in JavaScript. In fact, TypeScript is based on the .NET Harmony specification, so a lot of code looks and behaves similarly to .NET and other object-oriented programming languages. But what's wrong with JavaScript? Why would we want to replace it? Well, for starters, it isn't suitable for building large applications. Structuring and maintaining JavaScript applications can be tricky as they grow. It also lacks strong typing, and that means that some errors might only pop up at runtime. Static typing means that a lot of these basic errors can be caught by the compiler. JavaScript also suffers from bad type coercion and much more. In fact, there are books written on all the shortcomings of JavaScript. So how does TypeScript try to solve these problems? Well, the first thing to note is that TypeScript is essentially JavaScript. You don't have to learn a new programming language. It just adds new features to JavaScript that you can choose to use. TypeScript compiles into JavaScript. So that means that you can run TypeScript everywhere in the browser or on Node.js. What's also interesting is that your existing JavaScript code is already valid TypeScript code. So migrating to TypeScript is as simple as renaming your files. Because it's based on the Harmony specification, it will be familiar to everyone who has used object-oriented programming languages before. And finally, TypeScript includes many improvements over JavaScript. But thanks to the TypeScript compiler, those improvements will still work with regular browsers. That means that you can use these new features as well as new ECMAScript features before they are even supported by the browsers. So what's next for this series? Well, I'll cover basic topics such as how to install TypeScript and how to set up your IDE. I'll also show you how the typing system works, how you can define functions, classes and interfaces, and how you can use type definitions for regular JavaScript frameworks. Interested to learn more about TypeScript? Well, go ahead and watch the next video where I will show you how to install the TypeScript compiler onto your computer. I will also update this series with more videos in the future, so make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a beat.